Happy guinea pig! Cock a doodle doo! Hi, I'm Alain and welcome to my kitchen. And I am making piggy and ice breakfast this morning. And I found a recipe I thought I wanted to try called Perfect Popovers. Now, whether or not they're perfect, I don't know. She gonna find out. But I'm gonna find out. This is the first time I've ever made them. First time Piggy's ever had them. First time I've ever had them. First time I've ever known about them. I've seen recipes on them. I've seen what they look like. And uh, we'll just have to experiment together on these popovers to see how they turn out. Now my ingredients are one tablespoon of oil, one cup of milk, two eggs, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of all-purpose flour. That's what I got. That thing pulling down there, everything you got there. Okay. But don't raise that too far if you want to see it. Well, I'm just pouring everything in here right now. I'm just pouring in my milk. I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil. And y'all, that's my oven. It, uh, it's chirping at her. It was preheated to 400 degrees. And we'll have to see how this does because it says to bake these things for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm going to keep an eye on Okay. Put two eggs in here. And this is what it says to do. It says to mix your wet ingredients in the bowl and then add your flour to it. Okay. Now, folks, this is what she does. She experiments. She sees something. She wants to try it. And whisk this together. <laughs> until everything is well blended. What this cooking thing is about. Cooking is all about experimenting. If you've never tried a recipe before and you eat and you try a new one, you're experimenting. I mean, that's all it is. It, it basically, it's just chemistry. You experiment with chemistry. Well, this is chemistry you can eat. Yeah. And put the salt in there. And I'm just going to sift this right here and there. And the reason I'm doing this is because my salt's been having some lumps in it. And uh, so has my flour. It's been really humid and muggy, so that has a, weather has an effect on everything you do. It does. It really does. And as I'm doing this, I'm mixing this together. And you want to mix this together until it's really smooth. My daddy used to run coders decades ago in the carpet mill. And he'd have that thing running fine. Well, there's some boys from R&D came in with, at least this thing ain't set to the set that's on by the butt. Need to get that set right. So they made him set it according to the settings that they said it's supposed to run at according to the book. Well, everything went to, <clears throat> you know, where in a hand basket. And uh, they come back to him and said, what, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Y'all the ones to figure this stuff out. Why y'all coming to me? <laughs> All right, now, the recipe calls for putting this in ramekins. I don't have any ramekins. So what I'm gonna is a ramekin? It's like a very small soup like cup. I'll show you. I do have one, but it's a small one. This is a ramekin, y'all. Oh, okay. And I don't, this is the only one I have. Um, and I use it for other things, but uh, th th this is what this is called for. Now, I have seen them made in muffin tins. Deep muffin tins. You want to make sure it's the deep ones and not the shallow ones. And uh, by doing that, uh, that they, they puff up. So uh, it's. Well, you say supposed to, right? Right, they're supposed to puff up. And they said to spray them with cooking spray. And I've got mine sprayed. If I can get Piggy to hand me a ladle. 
A ladle. A ladle. And I guess I can see this. I'm, I've got this about as smooth as I'm going to get this. I'm going to take this whisk and I'm going to put it right there in that. That'll do. That'll do. Anyway, his boss told him to get that thing back running right. He straightened it out and got it back running right. Well, them real smart, educated boys, they couldn't believe that he got it running right and it wasn't set to what they said it's supposed to run at. And my daddy told him, said, you got to take the weather into account. Some days it's hot and muggy, some days it's dry, some days it's hot, some days it's cold, and it's going to affect how this thing runs. Y'all say I have, uh, I'm putting these a little over high. Like I said, I've never made these before, but since I'm not using ramekins, and I'm using this, and I do have it on a cooking sheet. Baking sheet. That might be something we need to look into getting you someday. What, some ramekins? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't hardly ever use them, I don't guess, but it'd be nice to have them just in case you need them. Well, like some of the oriental philosophers like to say when it comes to the martial arts. Boy, ask the master, how come you guard me? How come you're not a warrior? But you are a warrior. How come you know you're not out there? How come you just start? Why well, learn martial arts yeah. if you're only going to be a gardener? He said it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Basically, that's not exactly how it was said, but you get the idea. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm fulfilling these about half. We'll see how they turn out different. Or if they turn out different. And we'll see what we can get out of this one right here. They don't have I'm much in it. In other words, I would do the It's better to have them and not need them than not have them when you do need them. That's true. That's my, like a lot of other things. My thing about it is this in life. Uh, we can always make do and find something to use. And this right. is what I'm doing, showing that I have I don't have ramekins, but I do have these. Okay, and I'm gonna put these in the oven. Again, my it's set on four hundred degrees. That's and pretty hot. And I'm gonna put them in for forty minutes. Put these there. And set the timer. Oops, too much. There we go, 40 minutes. So we'll see y'all in about 40 minutes and we'll all find out they turned out or not, won't we? Yep. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to see how these things turned out. They look good. They're a little brown side. But, but that's what you showed me they're supposed to look like. On that. Actually, yeah. they actually don't look as dark as those that you showed me on there. Now, the instruction says to poke these with... If you can poke them. Pokey, pokey. With, they're a little crunchy. I think that's to allow the steam inside to escape. So I did that. And that's what they look like. And we saw they come out really easy, so I'm going to one there. Put one over here for the piggy. And we'll let piggy get a picture. I had to get that out from behind it. I done got a couple in the okay. pan. Got All it. right. All right. Grab a seat. All right, folks, y'all know what time it is. I'm going to try it with jelly and without jelly, so I'm going to put jelly or my jam, I should say. That's some of that strawberry jam. I'm going to pop this thing apart. Ooh. It looks good and it's steamy. Yeah, you can see that steam coming out of it. Yeah. 
It's going to be a little chewy. I can already tell that. You might need your helpers this morning, too. Okay. Okay, well, that's looking well. They're decent. They ain't all that, but, you know, hey, it's not well, I mean, bad. It's, it's not bad. It's, they're good. It's bread. I mean, it's hot. Basically, it's a fancy looking biscuit. I wouldn't call it a biscuit. Why? Well, it's a fancy bread. I mean, they're good. Try with some jam. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's better. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that stain coming mm -hmm. up on that, folks. Look at the inside of that. Don't that look good? Now, I've seen these. They're served with jam and clotted oh, cream yeah. and things like that. So I'd say maybe try some cream cheese with it. Try some jam with it. It's definitely good with jam. Mm. I give an A plus with jam. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. It's a pass. They actually turned out pretty good. They did. Mm -hmm. Would I make them again? I probably will. Oh, she's already talking about making some up ahead of time for our breakfast in the morning. Yeah, I mean, they're really simple. I mean, uh, the, the hardest part is letting them sit there and cook for 40 minutes. But, hey. Simple to put together. Yeah, but those two pans right there could at two apiece represent three days' worth of breakfast for us. Yeah. And if you don't have a ramekin, this just goes to show you can use a muffin tin. And, uh, yeah, they're good. Now, would I divide it out like I did before? I'd probably go ahead and fill these up almost to the top instead of Three fourths, and uh, I would get six out of one batch. But yeah, I would definitely make these again. They they have a good taste. I mean, like I said, I'd never had them before, so I was having to figure out what I like about it. But with the jam, most definitely they are excellent with the jam. Throw me a little bit of that jam on there. And yeah, yeah, I'm using the same fork I use, but you know. At least I didn't eat off of it. Well, even if she had, it's just us. Yeah, ain't nobody else eating but me and Piggy. Whoever that was that talked about, there's that ham. <laughs> See what Piggy thinks of the jam on it. Mm. A lot better, ain't it? Well, it's jam. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you very much for coming along for our experiment this morning. And if you've never tried doing popovers, I hope you do. And I'll try to remember to leave a, uh, if I could talk, the recipe in the description uh, so y'all can try them yourself. Yeah, that would be good with any kind of, you know, cream cheese or any kind of fruit. Yeah. You know, whether it be jam form or actual fruit itself. Or... Yeah, they are very good. I like them. And I, like I said, I don't know where I got the recipe, but wherever I got it, I'm thankful now I wrote it down, and I'm thankful I tried these. So y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my boy?